Hey guys, today we're gonna create this awesome looking bear and the cool thing about this bear is that you can change the mood of it really really quickly. As you can see I have five different moods right here. So as usual the first thing you want to do is go to view, whoops, view and go to show grid, go to view again, go to snap to grid. Then we want to zoom in a little bit. Next thing I want to do is go to ellipse tool and draw a circle, hold down the shift key to make it a circle and make it three square wide and tall. So we don't want this border, so we click on the border and remove it. Click on the fill and choose these colors. I have prepared these colors for my bear or these swatches. If you want those, you can download them in the link in the description and you will get an ASC file which you can load up here and open, open Swatch library and other libraries and you just select it wherever you save it. Then, we, then you will get these swatches I use. So we click on the light brown, then we got the base of the head now. Then we want to do another circle right here from this square and fill out this square. Make this circle the dark brown because it's behind the head so it's in the shadow. Then click the selection tool, hold down the alt key, duplicate this ear and make it a little bit smaller so it can fit inside here in the middle. Then click on the pinkish color to get a pink color inside the ear. Now we're basically done with the ear, so select this one, these two shapes, hold down the Alt key, duplicate it and move it to the other side. Then we want to select both of these and move them down inside those squares right here. But we want the head to be the front, so click on the head, right click, arrange and bring to front. Now we're done with the ears. Next thing we want to do is the eyes. So for that we take this shape, hold down the Alt key, duplicate it and make it so it's just inside this intersection you can see right here. So before you click anywhere else, right click on this, arrange and bring to front, make it white and duplicate it again, hold down Alt key and bring it to the other intersection right here. So that's the white of the eyes. So we want the pupils and we do that by duplicating this shape, make it a little bit smaller and put it inside here. Choose the, the black color and bring that one over here too. That's behind the white so we Right click and click in range and bring to front once again. Now we're done with the eyes. So we want the nose now. For that I use a, an ear. So hold down the Alt key, duplicate and put it inside the square you can see right here. And just make it a little bit smaller like this. And before I click anywhere else, right click arrange and bring to front. Make this nose black. So now we just need to make the mouth. So for that we need a little more complex shape but we will do that ourselves. So we take the ellipse tool again, make a circle that is one square wide and tall, then take the selection tool Duplicate this one, hold down the Alt key, put it upside this intersection, one more in this intersection, then select all these three shapes and go to the Pathfinder. If you don't got the Pathfinder icon right here, you can find it up inside the window and Pathfinder. So you want to click this one, minus front, and now you got the mouth shape. Make it a little bit smaller, like this. 
then go to the swatches again, the pinkish color, and you can just place it right here. And you want the nose to be in front, so click arrange and bring to front. Now we're basically finished with the bear. Now we need to make the circles that makes the mood different. So for that you just take the eye right here, hold down all key, duplicate and make it one wider this way and one wider this way. Then you want to duplicate this one to the other eye and select those two shapes and select the same color as you use for the head. So it's a light brown right here and as you can see the pupil is in front so we will right click, arrange, bring to front. Now it's in front of the nose so we will click the nose, arrange, bring to front. That's basically it. Now we just need to move these wherever you want them. So you can see this is a heavy bear. If you move them up here, that's a drowsy bear. If you move them a little to the side, that's more like a nervous bear or a sad bear. If you move them inside here, you'll get an angry bear. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. Bye. Please like this video if you want to see more of these, I really appreciate it.